satisfy then his or her ability is good okay so this is called cow person chief the person who is keeping the animal okay now you see uh, some these are the uh, some list of the healthy animal okay when the animal is healthy the eyes should be bright okay some people are still joining okay so the eyes of the animal should be bright and alert and there should not be any discharges from the corner okay from the corner of the eyes okay like the human beings also okay the next point is most animals have erected ear okay you see the picture okay the animals they will be having erected ears which move in the direction of any sound okay so if there is any sound then they will raise their ear okay so these are the some signs and symptoms of the healthy animal okay then third one is the noise the nose should be clean with no discharge okay there should not be any discharge coming out from the nostril okay and the last one is very very important in cattle and buffalo the muzzle okay the muzzle should be moist okay it should be moist not dry okay if the muzzle is dry then it is a clear cut indication of any disease okay disease means when the cattle or buffalo is suffering from fever then the muzzle used to be dry at that time okay so you see the yellow arrow it is pointing the muzzle of the animal okay and this muzzle it should be moist all the time it should be moist okay moist means it should contain it should be watery okay so if it is dry then it is a clear cut indication of some distress okay so this are the some criteria to differentiate the healthy from the diseased animal okay and cow person chief means the ability to differentiate the healthy one from the diseased one okay so that's why if any person is rearing the animal then he or she should know all this character okay based on this character only they can identify the diseased one or the healthy one okay next slide is people with good cow person chip should have some character okay so first character is the observation and the willingness okay it depends on their observation power and their willingness okay so these two criteria is very very important for being a good cow person chip okay one is observation skill and the second one is willingness how observation helps because day to day activity like milking then cleaning of the animal if any person is doing regularly then at that time that they, they will come to know if there is any abnormality okay abnormality means if there is any changes in their behavior then they can identify very easily okay and the second one is willingness okay willingness means the person who is keeping the animal he or she should have some willingness or some affection towards the animal okay so good cow handlers become aware of such differences between individual group and breed and handling stock okay they can they can then interact with individual animals that require specific attention okay so if one can identify the healthy or unhealthy one at a very early age then the specific attention or maybe the some specialist like veterinarians or doctor can be call upon okay if there is any some severe problem so first is a good cow person chief is very very important for the productivity as well as welfare as well as profitability of the farm then this good cow person chief is also depends on this cattle human interaction okay this two term is very very important one side is cattle the other one is human okay so from cattle side the temperament of the cattle is very very important or temperament of the cow is very very important to establish good cattle human interaction and second one is the behavior of the handler okay so good cattle human interaction it depends on first is 
from the cow side it is temperament of the cow and from human side it is the behavior of the cow handler okay so the cow temperament should be good okay if the cow is very aggressive then good cattle human interaction is not possible okay the second one is the behavior of the handler okay if the person who is handling the animal if he is not behaving or if he is not uh, approaching the animal in a scientific way at that time also good cattle human interaction is not possible okay and how and why this is important this thing i will be explaining in the subsequent class, subsequent uh, slides okay so you see the cow's temperament is one of the key aspect of their personality in relation to their reaction to humans okay so temperament is nothing but the whether the cow is docile in nature or it is aggressive in nature okay so this docile or the cow is aggressive it depends on the breed also okay like the indigenous cattle they are little bit more aggressive than the exotic one okay i think you might have seen in our in our farm also some uh, indigenous mizo cattle that is zogon they are very aggressive okay so to control that animal two three person is required okay because they are by by naturally okay by birth they are more aggressive that means their temperament is more than the other one okay exotic one so this temperament relates strongly to previous handling experiment experience okay like if any person is handling the animal with positive or negative interaction then it will aggravate further aggravate the temperament of the animal okay and the second one is there are also genetic differences with variety between breeds and between breeds okay that is already i already explained no like some indigenous cattle they are more aggressive than the exotic one but within the same breed also like exotic breed can you name some breed like uh, hosen fashion then jersey then brown swiss these are exotic one okay so by naturally they are little bit docile compared to the indigenous one but within the same breed also some may show more aggressiveness okay than the other one okay this also it is possible within the same breed also some may having more aggressiveness okay may show some more aggressiveness so this temperament from the cow side it is very very important to establish good cow human interaction now you see the animal if it is less aggressive or if it is docile in nature then it will produce more milk okay because this may be related to being more calm during milking and therefore having greater milk let down okay so docile cow in generally they used to produce they are producing more milk compared to the aggressive one so this is very easy to understood because you see in the picture also uh, milk milking process for milking process one person needs to go close to the animal okay and after that only they will do the milking okay now if the cow is docile then that animal will allow the other person to come close to that animal as well as to do milking now in case of aggressive one that animal will not allow anyone to come closer then subsequently the milk let down also it will be inhibited okay and the milk production it will be less than the docile one okay so the docile one in generally they used to produce more milk because they allow the person to come close to do milking okay this is the reason behind the more milk production for the docile cattle so next is cattle usually improve their temperament and become less fearful with age okay this is also very very true okay suppose uh, one cattle suppose i will give you an example of our indigenous cattle okay so for indigenous cattle 
in generally they are more aggressive than the exotic one but with the age means if it is young one then they will be little bit more aggressive than the older one okay so their aggressiveness also it used to decrease with the increase in age okay with the increase with age next is it is also associated with habituation okay habituation with the animal becoming more familiar with the handling procedure and the environment okay suppose for a long time you are rearing the animal under under the uh, it may be conventional housing or loose housing system so for long habituation also slowly slowly they used to accustom to the environment and they used to become little bit docile okay next is it is beneficial to positively condition calves to handle from an early age okay suppose uh, suppose if you can uh, rear uh, the cow with some positive condition from from the very early age in that condition what will happen when it will grow the aggressiveness also it will be reduced okay if you start the positive condition from the very early stage now next point is exposing calves to noble but positive experience in early life will lead to a cow better habituated to nobility and more docile towards people okay now you can expose the calf to the noble condition okay noble condition means some experiment you can try some experiment but that should be the positive one okay that should be the positive one then if it is positive one then slowly slowly with their increase with age they will become docile to the people okay so next is behavior from the handler side okay for establishment of good cow animal or human bonding okay so one is the temperament of the animal now it is coming to the behavior of the handler okay so behavior of the handler also very very important for establishment of the good cow animal human inter, uh, relationship okay now you see the cow handler has an enormous impact and can be considered the most important factor influencing cow behavior welfare and performance negative behavior such as hitting slapping tail twisting quick and sudden action shouting produce more fearful cows okay now you see these are the handlers behavior okay when you will be approaching any animal so when you are approaching any animal you should approach with some positive behavior not with the negative behavior so this handler's behavior also it affects the welfare of the animal okay so positive behavior like gentle touching then gentle stroking then soft talking and slow movement this coming this all are example of the positive behavior towards the animal okay for animal and negative behavior like slapping pushing then hitting with object then tail twisting and abrupt movements towards the animal will lead to negative impact in the animal okay so if it is negative behavior then the cattle in next attempt they will not allow any other person to come closer to them okay so that's why positive behavior it is very very important from the handler side okay those who are handling the animal they should approach with this positive behavior now going to the next slide you see how to assess whether the whether the bond between cow and the handler it is good or not how will be assessing anyone from your group aman mina how will be assessing whether there is a good bonding between animal or uh, you means uh, human means uh, whether it is establishment or not how to assess
okay so anyone from your group how to assess uh, uh, whether there is good human animal bonding or not no sir if the animal uh, is not frightened during milking then we can understand that uh, there is good animal and human bond okay so i i i i will i, I will give one small example okay how to how to examine whether uh in any farm or any person those who are keeping the animals uh, in in their in their house whether they are having good human animal relationship or not so very common or easy technique is there by using the flight zone okay so if any person is keeping animal or rearing animal if for that animal if the flight zone is larger in size then this is a clear cut indication of the that human animal relationship okay and you see the second picture the person who is standing he is standing very close to the animal okay so that means the flight zone for that animal it is very less okay or small small flight zone so by this flight zone concept you can examine whether the good human animal relationship is established or not okay so this good human animal relationship is very very important for good cow partnership okay so whether now you can uh, justify or not why good human animal relationship is very very important for good cow partnership and subsequently good cow partnership is very very important for the welfare of the animal okay welfare of the animal as well as productivity okay profitability as well as productivity of the farm now you can justify or not now you try to correlate okay now you see handless behavior and animal welfare okay you see now if any person is behaving animal with this negative behavior like biting tail twisting okay hitting okay all this negative behavior will create high fear inside in the animal okay then it will lead to low production low production means milk okay milk is the only output we are getting from the animal okay means from the dairy animal okay so milk production will reduced as well as the welfare of the animal also it will reduced okay welfare it will affects the production as well as the welfare of the animal also now you see if you are handling or if you are behaving in a positive way then it will it will create less fear in the animal as well as the production also it will increase as well as the profitability of the farm and third one is the welfare aspect okay welfare also definitely it will increase okay for the animal now this is the last slide so i will give you one example you see the one in one side the the corner side these are the action of cow these are with pleasant handling okay pleasant handling means positive handling and this is aversive handling aversive means the negative impact of the handling okay so you see the action of the cow you see mean entry time to milking shed okay mean entry time means how much time it is required to get entered the cow inside the milking parlor so you see if your human animal in bonding if it is good then you see the time taken for getting inside the animal inside the animal cow sorry milking parlor it is less okay it is only 9.9 second time it is required with the good human animal relationship okay now if the relationship is not good then cows will take more time to get inside the milking parlor okay so it is taking more time you see it is 16.1 okay i am i am bolting okay you see this is 16.1 next you see the flight the flight distance okay so if there is good human animal relationship then the flight distance is only 0.5 meter okay as compared to the 2.5 meter with the aversive handling okay 
so that means the flight distance will increase with the negative human animal relationship okay third one you see dunging in milking shed okay dunging means defecation okay dung means dung defecation okay dunging means how how many times animal excreted during the milking period okay you see with with positive handling you see the animal used to excrete only three times and if the relationship or handling if it is not proper then they used to defecate more frequently okay means if the animal is more nervous then they used to defecate more more okay for human being also it is same okay if any person is suddenly uh, under shock or panic suddenly some pain used to started okay in the stomach okay this is nothing but the tendency okay so for uh, animal also same thing happens okay if they they are under stress then defecation also frequency it used to increase okay and the last one is free approach to humans free approach means how much time the cattle uh, uh, a free approach means how much time they used to give response to the handler so you see in case of positive handling it is more okay free approach means how much time they used to interact with the handler so it is more in case of pleasant handling or positive handling and if it is only three time per minute for aggressive handling so i want to conclude this uh, topic this cow partnership topic with this conclusion okay so for establishing or for good cow partnership to develop good cow partnership skill you need to develop first good human uh, animal human relationship okay so good human animal relationship is very very important for for increasing good cow partnership skill okay so if if there is no good relationship between the animal and the human being then you cannot increase your skill okay skill that is cow partnership skill and this cow partnership skill is very very important in order to increase the welfare status of the cow as well as the productivity of the animal and finally the profitability of the farm okay is it okay what is cow partnership somebody what is cow partnership sir cow partnership means for developing good human animal relationship no cow partnership is not uh, developing good human animal relationship now you see in the picture you see in one side it is the healthy one okay healthy animal and the other side it is suffering from some diseases okay so if the person who is rearing the animal if he can identify yes this are the healthy one and this are the unhealthy one this skill is called cow partnership okay to ability to differentiate the individual behavior of the animal okay this is for cow partnership and this for developing this cow partnership this human animal interaction is very very important okay so human animal interaction is important to increase the cow partnership skill okay now it is okay somebody what is cow partnership yes sir okay rim jim where is rim jim yes sir what is cow partnership so the ability of the person who rearing the animal to differentiate the healthy animal from the disease okay to differentiate the each and animal behavior okay whether they are behaving normally or if there is any abnormal behavior so if uh, one can differentiate then 
you can consider his percentage means cow percentage ability is good okay and to develop this or to increase the cow percentage skill you need good animal human relationship okay you see you need good human or cattle human interaction okay so this cattle human interaction this is having two component okay one is the cattle component the other one is human component okay so cattle component it is the temperament of the cow okay suppose for a person you are good handler okay but the animal is not good okay animal temperament is very high okay like the zobong okay zobong i think you have seen all of you have seen so by nature they are very aggressive so for them it is not possible to establish good cow human interaction okay or relationship okay so this that's why temperament of the cow should be docile okay for docile animal only you can you can establish good cow animal relationship okay if the animal by nature if it is aggressive then it is not possible okay and the second component is the handler behavior okay suppose the animal is docile but the handler it is handler the person who is handling the cow he is little bit aggressive okay he is aggressive means he used to bite uh, beat the animal he used to twist the tail of the animal so in that case the animal in next attempt it will not allow the same person to come close to the animal okay so these are the two component of the cattle human interaction okay one is cattle side that is the temperament of the animal and the second one is the behavior of the handler okay both are important to develop good cattle human interaction is it okay now yes sir okay uh, where is uh, sonam sonam yes sir uh why this cattle human interaction is important for good cow person six skill uh so uh, if the interaction between cattle and human is better so we get better production so we get better products so there's more production of species of animals means how this uh, human or animal uh, human re uh, relationship will help to increase the cow person chief skill so now you are getting or not what i what i so can you please repeat the question okay suppose what is cow person chief so now sir uh, cow person uh, sir cow person chief so we can differentiate between the normal and abnormal behavior between the so different animals okay very good very good so for uh, this to increase this cow person chief skill first you need good human animal relationship okay so if we, if you are if you do not have any good relationship then the animal will not allow you to go closer to them is not it so how this uh, human animal relationship will affect the cow personship sir uh, uh, so is the uh, so to so that we need to do it again then how to assess uh, whether good cow human interaction is uh, developed or not so the flight zone reduces so we can approach the animals more closely okay, okay. very good very good so uh, this uh, this thing uh, you please remember okay and this are directly or indirectly it is related with the welfare of the animal okay so welfare is nothing but the the condition okay the in the environment in the environment in which you are uh, keeping the animal if it is good then you can consider the welfare of the animal is maintained okay well welfare is a very big term okay welfare is a very big term it includes good housing good feeding appropriate behavior and the last one is good health okay good health and appropriate behavior so all this aspect if it is maintained then only you can say the welfare of the animal is maintained okay maintained okay so good human animal interaction is important for good cow personship and good cow personship is important to maintain the welfare of the animal that's why i have given 
or I have chosen this topic to discuss with you. Okay, so first you go through what is and why this good human animal interaction is required. Okay, then if good human animal interaction is or bond is developed, then definitely you can increase your cow personship skill. Okay, and if cow personship skill is good, then the welfare also definitely it will increase welfare as well as the productivity of the farm so is there any query regarding today's class regarding this cow personship what is cow personship and how to improve the cow personship skill semester yes sir semester yes. what what is what is cow personship so it is the ability of the handler handler to recognize the disease that is with the normal animal cow okay normal animal okay so how you will how to how you will uh, increase the uh, this skill this cow personship skill this is nothing about the skill only okay how to improve so by having a positive so attitude towards the animal by uh, sir such as the positive behavior such as uh, gentle touching or gentle talking soft speech okay. movement okay 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 so semester you see these are the some uh, uh, some uh, behavior or some symptom sign and symptom of the healthy animal okay suppose if the animal is healthy then their eyes should be bright okay and alert they should give some response to the direction of any sound okay there should not be any discharge from the nostril and the fin final one is the in case of cattle and buffalo the muzzle should be moist okay the muzzle should be moist and it should not be dry okay if the muzzle is dry then it is a clear cut indication of disease okay means the animal is suffering from some fever okay so how we will come we will be able to know whether the cattle is suffering from any fever or not by observing the muzzle okay so if the muzzle muzzle if it is moe or dry then it is a clear cut indication of the disease okay so these are the some behavioral sign and symptom to identify the healthy from the unhealthy one okay so that's why behavior is very very important to behavior is very very important to improve the cow personality skill of an individual okay of the individual okay is it okay okay then uh, uh, i want to take one quiz okay for 10 marks it will be for 10 marks so then you please uh, decide the time okay and when you subsequently you please let me know so whether uh, if it is uh, in this week then it is okay or you want uh, in the next week aman mina aman mina so when you will write the exam means uh, this week or next week this week or next week? semester semester when you want to write the exam when you want to write the exam so next semester. next week okay no problem then uh, uh, just wa just wa whether yes, okay just wa yes sir so you please uh, uh, discuss among your uh, best mate and please uh, let me know okay the date and time okay so if it is in the afternoon time also no problem in the uh, night time also no problem night means in the evening time also no problem okay yes sir so you please decide the time and it should not be in the uh, in the uh, class time okay suppose uh, if it is saturday then to no problem but if it is friday then uh, you please uh, decide the time 
whether uh, either in the afternoon or in the evening time okay and uh, the exam, exam will be for 10 mark and uh, all the mcq and some uh, fill up will come okay and the course uh, uh, till today okay till today whatever i have discussed uh, so it will be it will be covered okay for the exam okay Joshua, you please uh, discuss among your best mate and you please uh, let me know uh, by uh, through whatsapp okay yes sir okay and then uh, should i stop here sir will you please explain page number six third point page number six third third point there is also genetic which one so sires be within breeds okay there are also genetic difference within variety between breeds between sires within breeds okay between sire means the father okay sire okay so in case of cattle okay in case of cow the dam is the mother and sire is the father okay within sire means suppose uh, within some male okay male father or means suppose uh, the daughter of one father is good but the daughter of the other father it is not good okay like this okay between sire okay thank you sir means you you please remember the mother is called dam okay and sire means the father of the calf okay it is called sire s i r e okay thank you rana Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm.